Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. Listen, man, we talk about collector cars. Think about some of the cars from the 60s, 67, 68, 69 Camaros. Some of those cars selling for 70, 80, $100,000 plus, right? Um, those are low production cars that are that are still, you know, uh, oh, either restored or well taken care of or documented. And this could potentially be the next superstar. So I want to hear you hear, hear me out for a second. So I tell you why. For instance, they built 90,000 Camaros, okay, in uh, in 2012. So we're talking about one of 321 built. All right, this car is almost 600 horsepower from the factory. Different motor, different transmission, completely different guts of the rear. All right bigger brakes, bigger wheels and tires. This is a very different car than a regular Super Sport Camaro. This carbon fiber insert on this hood, spectacular to look at. Victory red paint. I mean, this is, uh, this is one, hey, look at the smile on my face. You know why? Because I know what these cars are capable of. These low mileage cars like this car here, right? Are really what the future is. When you think about those Camaros from the 60s that sold for $3,000 that are worth 50, 60 or whatever thousand dollars that they are now, Clearly those cars have gone up in value and done really well. So come on up here. I want you to see some of this stuff here. Like look how nice uh, this carbon fiber factory piece is. That's the great thing about factory pieces. They're always really, really nicely done. Aftermarket's great and I love aftermarket stuff, but the factory has the, the, the funds to dial in every last piece of it. In this paint, it's gonna be hard to see uh, the reflection though, but look how beautiful factory paint is. I put the smudge on there myself with my finger. But look how you can read all the lines. Look how clear that is. This is really nice paint. All right, come on down here for a second because I want to show you these factory rims, the ZL1 rims here, okay? Three-piece rotors. So you can see how they're bolted together inside here. Look at the size of the brakes. One of the reasons why the wheels are 20-inch wheels, not just for looks, they're 20-inch wheels because that's the only way you could fit all of these brakes inside the car. A 19-inch wheel would be too close to the caliper uh, and wouldn't fit. So these are special Brembo brakes for this car. Even the rims are embossed with Camaro on them right there. This is just a bad car. With, and this has a fresh set of uh, good years all the way around. I just put them on the car, it was time for them. That's typically how long they last. And they, uh, they were worn all perfectly around the same, but I just said, you know what? The next owner should probably have uh, a great start with this car. And so I bought the factory tire and they're the Eagle F1s that come on the ZL1 because the Pirellis are not speed rated to uh, the same as these are right here, which was, I thought was crazy. But anyway, these tires are built uh, with this car in mind. So as we walk around this car, you can see just how big, uh, what's the fender skirts that are down on the bottom, how big the wheel and tire package is that fits inside there. A little different setup around the back here. This has an upgraded exhaust system on it. I'll start it for you. And some of the options you can see on the car, for instance, like the park assist, all right? We'll look at the heads up display inside the car. This little call out right here. You know what? I don't know whether you leave it on or take it off because you maybe don't want people to know. Um, but when they see it, it's hard not to know what this car is. This car just says, whoa, whoa. All right, so enough of my woes. Let's go look under the, on the hood and see, whoa, what's under there. Okay, cool. Let's check out under the hood and see what all the rumble's about. All right, so uh, factory LSA motor, meaning supercharged, aluminum block, aluminum heads, beautiful, beautiful job uh, with timing and fuel injection and what have you. I mean, super smooth and that heavy duty six speed. We're talking 580 horsepower from the factory labeled right here, the GM performance division, right? But really this is probably a 600 horsepower setup and easily uh, they, you know, they have a few modifications out there to get 700 horsepower out of these things. So simple, uh, it's just amazing and not kill your drivability. But throw, forget the fact that you're your five or 600 horsepower here, right? But you still have air conditioning. You still have heads up display. You still have heated seats if you want it. You still have like the parking sensors. You have all of those great things with power too, which is the best of both worlds, which is pretty amazing when you think about it. All right, so check this out. This is kind of cool because what you get is, this is a custom Z01 uh, cover from General Motors. This comes with it, all right? Because there were so few of these cars built. These were pretty expensive cars, man. This little car is almost $60,000 new, which is a pretty heavy car. And for the low mileage and the price it is right now, this is the only way to really buy a car. But anyway, look how big the trunk is in here. They've really done a great job packaging this car together. So you can see all the detail and you can see how much room is in there. And then you get the car cover that comes with it. 
throw a couple soft bags in there and you're good to go for the whole weekend. It's a great driving road car. These big pipes coming out the back sound wonderful. All right, so come on in here and see uh, what all the rumble's about. This is nice too, because look, if you wanted to, you could take somebody with you. There's some room in the back here for them. They've really done a nice job packaging this car, all right? So a little throwback to the 60s. You got the console with the in-console gauges, right? These modes right here for the performance, you can uh, have three sport modes, touring mode, um, it even has launch control. A lot of people don't know this car has launch control and the way the launch control works. It hasn't been used on this car, but if you wanted to, I guess you could. The way it works is you uh, set the launch control at the RPM that you want uh, to go at, and you push the pedal, gas pedal to the floor, it revs to a certain RPM, you step off the clutch pedal, and it manages the power uh, from behind and applies the, the, you know, the, the slip regulation and things like that. So it's kind of cool. Don't know if it works. I've never tried it. Uh, that'll be up to you when you get it in your house. You can try that. But it's got the suede steering wheel, which is different than the other cars. Some of the things it does have uh, is the heads-up display. I don't know if Arsh will be able to get this in the video or not. He can sit in the seat here and kind of try to film that. Uh, but that's a cool feature. Heated seats, air conditioning. It's got uh, satellite. It's got the upgraded Boston audio in here. So you get some really nice luxury stuff as well as a really performance-oriented car. So it's a 600-horsepower car you could take to the track and you could drive to work as well, so that's kind of cool. Not to mention, optional sunroof in it. Just a loaded, loaded piece, and this is nice too, with the stitching that matches the seats. And this is suede, which is different than the regular Camaro. The ZL1's got some really nice upgraded treatment. Flat steering wheel, obviously we talked about the suede and stuff like that, so. Anyway, uh, I have rambled on a lot about it. How about I go ahead and uh, start it up for you so you can hear what it sounds like. All right, so to close up the video on this car, we talked about the value. Think about this. We're talking about a $60,000 car. Well, roughly $60,000, almost 600 horsepower, right? With, with incredible features, great styling, and some luxury stuff inside. And remember, we talked mostly about collectability. The collectability is we had no idea back in the 60s and early 70s that those cars would be worth something more. Remember, they sold for three or $4,000 back then, and now they sell for forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000. Is this the next car to rise? I don't know, can't tell you, but I would do say this. When you're one of only 300 built out of 90,000, right, you got a much better chance. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. Find a way to get this Camaro in your garage.